Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to go ahead and follow along with Kimmy's creations of her own apple pie empanadas. You're going to need two to three green apples. You're going to go ahead and peel the skin off of them. I honestly forgot. You're going to go ahead and add them to a bowl, like so, like that, as Miss Tab would say. Then you're going to add as much lemon juice as you would like. It's very up to your preference. Then you're going to go ahead and mix it all into the bowl to make sure that it is equally distributed. Then you're going to add two tablespoons of butter to a pan. You're going to mix it around in there. Then you're going to add your apples and you're going to let it cook for two to three minutes. You're going to add a half a cup of brown sugar and then you're going to add a tablespoon of ground cinnamon. And then you're going to go ahead and cook that again for another two to three minutes. Now I have braces on. So I like my food and fruits to be really, really soft so I don't break a bracket because that's $25 a bracket, baby. And I ain't trying to pay it. So you want to look, make it look like so like that. Okay? Kimmy added white Hennessy. I don't have that here, baby. So I use sake because I just made ramen. She said add a little bit of nutmeg. So I just add a little bit in there. And then you're going to go ahead and add your vanilla bean. This is so freaking good. Even though it's like nasty to eat it by itself. I tried it by itself. I said, Ugh. Two tablespoons of that. That's what you want to add to that. And then you're going to mix it up. And then you cook it for another two or three minutes. I think I definitely cooked it longer than she says cook it. But like I said, I want it to be really soft because I have braces on. You're going to go ahead and take out this amazing pie crust that I never knew existed until I looked up her video. You're going to take a bowl of your liking or you, you can draw your own circle, color outside the box, however you would like, but I can't draw. So, you know, I got the handwriting of a doctor, but I'm not a doctor in a sense, right? So I'm even surprised that I was able to perfect this circle at the end of the day. But you know why this circle is so big? Because I want to eat just one nice big empanada. I don't like to buy it in small quantities. Give me the full cow, okay? And then I had two half cups. I was in one third of apples. You can add as much as you like, but that's how much I added. Now, make sure you let the apples cool down. Because once I put this in the pan, it immediately started to fry like it was no tomorrow. I thought the house was about to burn down. Okay, and then you're gonna go ahead and make your pie crust on the side, like so, like that, as Miss Tabitha would say. Miss Tabitha, mm -hmm. as you can see, it's leaking, guys. So be careful when you're over here making your pie crust. I'm a little heavy handed, that's so weird. But, anyways, I added it to peanut oil because that's what I've been using, right? I'm using that same peanut oil that I use for them pork chops. If you didn't watch the video, baby, go watch it because they was good. Okay, I'm not wasting no oils around here. And then when that was done, I added cinnamon sugar. Thank you for watching the video of me making my first, first apple empanada. I added caramel and ice cream. And now it's time for me to give it a try. Perfectly imperfect empanada. Speak my heart. Holy Spirit. Mm. What time is it? It's 3.43 in the morning. I got to go on some type of fast or something. I'm going to try to be healthy next week. I'm going to really try to be healthy next week. Stay blessed. God got me. God got you. Peace out.